Manufacturers Association of Nigeria in the person of Mr. Shegu um, Ajayi Kadir. Good morning and welcome to the program, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning. Oh, director. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm the director, director general of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Yes. Okay. Um, there was a comment yesterday by uh, Senator Ben Murray Bruce. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? Calling on people to um, patronize made in Nigeria goods. And the challenge that a lot of people have always been saying is that sometimes made in Nigeria goods are even more costly. And then uh, there's the issue of quality and all that. So first of all, let's look at the challenges you are facing as Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Uh, what is it that is that very big challenge that is making manufacturing, which would also give us uh, the exporting capacity in our country, so low? What are those challenges? Especially in light of the fact that the president has just said the unification of the Naira and, and fuel subsidy removal, they have, they, the government has achieved the desired aim. So let's get to hear from the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria because a lot depends on what you can or cannot do. Yes, I think it's a very good way to start, seeing that there are already issues about why our goods uh, appear to be more expensive, and I believe that we should have an opportunity to really interrogate the issues. But the challenges that the manufacturers face, quite enormous. Uh, some of them have to do with infrastructure, others have to do with uh, the fiscal uh, environment, the monetary environment, and even the external environment. As you are aware, the Nigerian economy does not operate in isolation. It is interconnected with international uh, trade and is, of course, engaged in competition with goods uh, that come from other countries. But let's focus more on those internal challenges that have continued to limit the performance of the manufacturing sector. Chief among them is infrastructure. And when you talk of infrastructure, you talk of power, you talk of roads, you talk of the ports, which is critical to manufacturing business. And then you talk of the utilities that goes into the manufacturing process. You even talk about the issue of insecurity. All of those have come in inadequate measures. And so it will impact seriously on your cost. To a manufacturer, for instance, power is about uh, between 30 to 40 percent of its cost structure. And when you know that average uh, manufacturer does not get up to 40 percent of the power requirement from the national grid, he has to rely on self-power uh, generation. You know what the price of diesel is. And you, 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 it, is, it has increased by more than 300 percent between the last three years. And so manufacturing costs have tended to go up. Then you think of the policy environment. You look at fiscal measures, multiple taxation. There's no manufacturer in Nigeria that does, that does not pay more than 30 taxes, levies, or licenses. Then this makes it impossible for you to plan. You are not even able to know ahead of time what you are going to pay in any given financial year. Then you have the issue of uh, forex, foreign exchange for you to be able to import those raw materials, machines, and spare parts that are not available locally, but are required for your domestic production. The, the rate of forex is so high, and it's even scarce you cannot get. When you go to the uh, uh, parallel market, you get it at rates that does not allow you to procure those uh, raw materials and produce at competitive price. Then you have access to credit. The average lending rate for in Nigeria now is between 26 to 28 percent. You cannot do any uh, manufacturing exercise and make profit with this type of, of, of facility. And the special purpose vehicles like the Bank of Industry that you have has is not liquid enough to provide for the manufacturers. In MAN, for instance, we have 2,500 members that operate in 10 sectors and more than 70 subsectors spread across the country. 
the financial institutions cannot support the credit requirements of this uh, organization. Then there is the issue of general ease of doing business in terms of regulation. Most of the regulatory agencies have actually turned to revenue generating agencies. So the cost of licenses, the cost of compliance is very high. Then you have the lack of patronage. Uh, there are quite a number of, uh, of people who do not believe in patronage of made in Nigerian uh, products. Of course, we know that you have to make good products, which I believe will still discuss. But even government itself, despite the existence of initiatives that are supposed to prioritize patronage of made in Nigeria products, does not patronize made in Nigeria products. So there are quite a number of challenges that limit the performance of the sector, and which has made it to contribute any, uh, always between 8 to 11 percent to the GDP. Uh, and that is not the case among our peers. I, I'm concerned about this uh, patronage of made in Nigerian products. Is, it, is, is the low patronage a product of uh, um, awareness that is not enough or a product of a bad policy that needs to be changed? Yes, you have just captured some of the most significant reasons for it. In terms of policy, and which is what I want to put across, there are policies that exist only in the bridge. We have the executive order 003 and 005. Those are supposed to boost patronage of made in Nigeria products and to deepen the local content of our economy. But even government itself has operated this in the bridge. If you look at the National Assembly, for instance, there are 360 members of the House of Rep and 109 members in the Senate. All the vehicles they use are not made in Nigeria, even though we have credible local assemblers that have even expanded the local content of the parts that we have. Then you talk of the furnishing of their offices, and you look at the more than 500 uh, parastatas, departments of government that do not prioritize the patronage of made in Nigeria products. The uh, ex excuse that is always given about quality is absolutely false because there are regulatory agencies like NAVDAC and some that ensures quality of our products. I'm not talking about manufacturers who operate in the fringe, and you have them in so many countries around the world. We are talking of manufacturers that operate within those regulations, and those are the people we have in our membership. Our products are of good quality. And as a matter of fact, they are, most, they are the most reliable, because especially those products that have expiry dates, and those products that require guidance on how it should be used. You are aware of the uh, untowards activities of importers who will go to any length to even alter expiry dates and confuse the, the, the buyer with change of names uh, and operating in the dark markets. So it, it, it cannot be an excuse that our products are, are, not of, are not of good quality. In terms of awareness, of course, you, I, I believe you'll be conversant with what man is doing together with his members to push the issue of vibe made, made in Nigeria. Many of them, of course, I mean, many of the of those who, who, okay. who purchase uh, products are limited by their disposable income. And when you talk of our costs, sometimes those that we compete with in terms of price are those who have brought in the products without either not paying the right duty or they are outrightly small goods. I'm sure the story of rice is not uh, is, is for everybody to see. And there are quite a number of sectors that have had to compete with unfair pricing, either because the right duties are not paid or because those products are smuggled. Okay. Or those countries deliberately jumping in the local, uh, in the domestic market in such a way that they are able to reduce the capacity or even eliminate local competition then they will be able to up their prices. Okay. All these combine to make it appear 
as if the prices of our, of our local products are high. This is not to take away the fact that even the cost of production in the economy itself has okay. left you with no option than to, to sell at a price that will allow you to have profit. Okay, Mr. If Kari, all your prices are up, then you are left with no choice than to add this to, I mean, to put it on the, on the consumer. Okay, Mr. Kadri, um, let me just get a promise from you, if it is possible. Uh, can we continue this conversation, say, on Thursday? Because there are so many things that we need to talk about that we cannot cover in the space of 10 minutes that was allocated to this segment. So if it is possible to expand more on this kind of things and look at critical policies that need to be uh, brought into uh, the system so that you can work better. It will be a, a, a more, a more um, engaging discussion, a more rewarding discussion. Can I get that promise for Thursday morning? Yes, I, I've not checked my program, but you know it's always a pleasure to, to, yeah. to speak with you. I will try to make sure that I, I do that. Okay, yes. all right. Thank you so much. Uh, well, this is how much we can take for today uh, from you. Thank you for being a part of the program this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. We're talking with the, um, the uh, director in the, um, of the Manufacturers uh, Association of Nigeria, the Director General Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Mr. Shegun Ajayi Kadri. And we're talking about the challenges of um, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria and why people don't patronize made in Nigeria goods. Uh, we are going to try. Uh, he has promised us that if it is possible to bring him back on Thursday to talk more about things that need to be done by this government that wants to give Nigeria a new lease of life as they say. Uh, but for now, that's how much we can take. We'll uh, take a short break and when we return, we'll be looking at the future of the Nigerian theatre and the power of telling our own Nigerian stories. We'll be joined by Joseph Edgar. Stay with us. <laughs> 